What's going on, everyone? So, Dark Waters is the latest Todd Haynes film, the same guy that gave us Carol, Far From Heaven, and, of course, a slew of other movies that you probably haven't heard of, unless you're a huge movie buff. In which case, check out my letterbox. I've ranked all of his movies in that. But, guys, Dark Waters. For those of you who don't know, it's a movie that is about a corporate defense attorney who takes on an environmental lawsuit against a chemical company. This is a film that has an all-star cast. For instance, you have Mark Ruffalo, Anne Hathaway, Tim Robbins, Dale Pullman, Victor Garber. And it's a movie that, based on the trailer, I was very much so excited for. I really like Todd Haynes as a director. And not only that, the cast seemed really interesting. And also the premise seemed very striking. I didn't know much going into this movie about the premise. So I was very much so excited for it. Now the question is, is it any good? Let's get into it. Firstly, I just want to say, and I seem to be saying this a lot lately, maybe it's because it's award season, but I really appreciate that this movie was shot on film. Right from the beginning, you could tell it was shot on film with the grain, and I absolutely adore that this movie was shot on film. So many movies, and I know if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you know I've been saying this lately. Um, movies aren't shot on film that much anymore. They really aren't. For convenience sake, a lot of movies are shot digitally. So the fact that this movie was shot on film, it's awesome. But on, also, on another level, it also gives an approach of, oh yeah, when this movie was taking place, that's all that they had. They didn't have digital photography at that time. So I really respect that this movie did that as well, because you can look at it on another layer. Also, I think the acting in this movie is great. Specifically, Mark Ruffalo. Holy cow, his performance is very nuanced. But it's great at what he's giving to this character. I think that there's a lot of depth to this character that definitely gives a sign of nuance in both the directing and the acting side of Mark Ruffalo for this performance. Other performances are also great. There's comedic relief. I think Bill, Bill Pullman's like performance, I think, was definitely comedic in itself. But I think it was really effective with what it was going for. Also, the messages, kind of like the report, which I recently reviewed recently, um, accountability, government, and just... Also, how years and years of just, holy cow, like peeling back layers of just things that could cover up, it's scary. I mean, this is essentially Spotlight meets The Insider. If you haven't seen any of those two movies, you're missing out. Those movies are both awesome. Watch them now. But Dark Waters reminded me of those two movies in that it's a almost whistleblower type movie, but also a procedural movie and just holding back the accountability of big corporations for doing all these things that are very, very seedy. And I think that it's a movie that if you watch it, you'll you'll come out of it just as a better person. And when I say a better person, I'm not saying like, oh, you know, it will, it's life-changing. But at the same time, it peels back a layer that you probably haven't thought about. I mean, I have water right here. Do you ever think about, oh, my goodness, this water might have chemicals in it that I shouldn't be drinking? Probably not, unless you're just a very, like, you know, blah, 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 jumpy person. But for me personally, I'm not jumpy. Like, I just drink water, and I'm like, it's tasty. But because of this movie now, I think about it and I'm just like, did that water I drink had chemicals? I don't know. And it's a movie like this that I really like. It's a movie that makes you think. And those are my favorite type of movies. And on top of that, it's not just my type of movie because it makes you think. It's a movie that's very well filmed. I mentioned the cinematography. There's a lot of great shots, point of view shots, uh, establishing shots. They're all handled with a plum. Snow shots. You know, Todd Haynes always loves his movies taking place on Christmas time. That's great stuff, but you also have a score that is incredible. I absolutely adored it. Loved the editing style, too. They used a lot of um, cross-cut editing scenes, but also a lot of scenes where it's building momentum, where you're seeing scenes that are going on, and at the same time, you're hearing uh, narration go on that's taking place at a different location. I absolutely love those type of scenes in movies, and Dark Waters has a lot of those scenes, and I think it's very effective. Also, I think with the way that this movie ended was very effective, and I almost was going to say the length was a criticism, but I can't lie, it's not. For me personally, I understand why this movie felt a little bit long towards the end of the movie, because here's the thing, the movie takes place over the span of a long decade plus haul, and I think it's important that you're making it feel as though it taken longer than possible, because this was a thing that occurred over a long span of time. So in gaining that feeling, it really did make me feel as with these characters. And that's very effective for me personally. In terms of negatives, I think my only problem, and this is something that I've been having a lot with biopics lately, I think Anne Hathaway's character, I love her acting in this movie. I really do. And I like her towards the like final act, I'd say, kind of. But I think that she just was kind of sidelined as just the like, 
you know, the wife that's like faithful, but also just kind of like nagging. And I, I don't know. I really can't stand those characters where it's just portraying females as just like nagging wives. It's like, come on. You know, they're more than that. You know, wives, wives aren't just like, you know, nagging. It's so annoying to me personally. But that aside, I honestly don't really have any negatives with this movie. There are a couple scenes that might feel like, you know, biopic cliches, but at the end of the day, I think Todd Haynes did such a great job at directing the heck out of this movie. It's a very well-filmed movie. It really gets you thinking. And also, the score, sound editing, messages, all of that are great. And I would highly recommend Dark Waters. That's why, for me personally, I am giving it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating, which, for those like a hot sauce rating, gets the good old Tabasco rating. That's right, everyone. I'm giving it this rating. Um, I'm very excited to be saying that Todd Haynes has struck it again. Very excited. So, guys, Todd Haynes' latest movie, Dark Waters. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'm also going to be ranking his movie, so stay tuned for that soon. And also, guys, as always, I really do appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews. We're in Oscar season, so stay tuned for that. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.